Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom. I almost said basement. Almost, almost. But welcome to my bedroom on this warm and sultry Friday evening for me, where I am excited to return to the land of Lucifer. This is season three, episode 11. And we have found out Lieutenant, Lieutenant was the cinnamon, but he's also Cain, who was destined to wander the earth as punishment where he's still allowed to kill people which is why he's wandering because he's being punished for killing his brother <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so why is he here in los angeles now conflicting crossing why is he messing with lucifer now is my question and what does that mean going forward i'm thinking we're not gonna find out this episode because i have been warned it is a filler episode so we're gonna get filled awesome <laughs> so i'm ready to get to it thank you so much for being with me on this adventure please remember full episode watch long is available on patreon where i usually drop this a day or two before the shortened version um, I have with me my water, and I also have a glass of menage a trois, because why not? And if you're playing along at home, it is 81 degrees in here in September. Woohoo! <laughs> so if you're ready, I am ready, and let's get to it. Oh, this is like how they uh, started season one, the first couple of episodes. And we didn't get it previously on. Oh, this is day one day. Oh, day, day one, day one. Why is he dressed like John Travolta on <laughs> Saturday Night Fever? Oh, 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 oh. You have wings. Ah, right, yes, forgot. Bit of a conversation stopper for you humans, isn't it? Nice suit. Oh, well, thank you very much. My grandpa had one just like it. Grandfather? But this was, so the, was the last time. last time I visited. He was on Earth was in the 70s. Always pleasure. Oh, then you came to the right place. Oh, these poor creatures. They know not what they do. I beg to differ. Everyone here is well aware that they're doing me. You're not... <laughs> now let's go. It's dangerous for humanity to be exposed to divinity. Well, I wouldn't sit on that couch. Left a lot of divinity there. Now you can either deal with me or you can deal with father. When was the last time Lucifer actually interacted with Father? Because I sound, it sounds as if it's been ever, ever, ever. 10 minutes. Oh, so this is not his original penthouse. So he went and found another penthouse after a quickie, I see. <laughs> nice dress. It's a robe. You wear it well. That man was not just shot, was he? What are you looking at? Nothing. I'm just... How did Amenadiel not stop that? How did Amenadiel not stop that? Been a change of plans, Lucy. Oh, oh, not what I. <laughs> Listen, I have an errand to run. Why are there holes in your dress? It's a robe. Oh, I apologize. Why are there holes in your dress? <laughs> so I want you to stay here for a few hours and then. The shirt. The shirt. Mwah. 
<laughs> Which is why I'm seeking your assistance in a matter of utmost importance. A robbery has occurred. And Chloe doesn't remember this man. What was stolen? My necklace. The estimated value? I, infinitesimal. But I would, I would have remembered this man. Where did the incident occur? In an alleyway south of Kahunana and Franklin. Kawanga? Kahunana and Franklin. I made a rendering. And I do believe that this should help you with your quest. But the mask is really good in that picture. So a jack-o'-lantern stole your necklace? So you know this man. Where can I find this Mr. Old Lantern? <laughs> well, I'm gonna be home pretty late. You wanna pick up some dinner? No, that's okay. There's that's the jogger man, isn't it? It's the jogger man. A human shot me and stole my necklace. Now, I tried to utilize human law enforcement, but it failed, so. <clears throat> I need your help, Lucy. It looked like he was going to vomit a little when he said that, didn't it? Well, you've always been crafty, smart. Craftier, smarter than you. Yes, and more handsome. Go on. Yes, I noticed from where he pulled that strawberry. Yes, I'm trying to solve it already. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. There's no one working in town. <laughs> Is this where thieves come to spend their spoils on wine and women? Something like that, yeah. Is he looking for a fence? To take requests. What do you want to hear? Uh, myself. <laughs> This is a song a minute he'll knows. You're just trying to stall your return to hell. Oh, I really hope to get a few more drinks in before you work that one out. And Franklin, the police have identified the murder victim as MMA fighter Aiden Scott. So I'm guessing the shooter wasn't 100% certain he had got the right guy, so he went and shot the other guy that looked very similar to him. How are we going to find him if his own kind can't even locate him? Coming up, we will learn more about the life of Aiden Scott. Actually, do you know, I think I might be able to help your brother, but I'm going to need more than a few extra hours here on Earth. Wow. <laughs> Name your price. The boobs that he just saw. Can't actually think of anything right now. So how about a blank check? Cash mm. to the time of my choosing. Make the deal with the devil. Deal. Deal. Hello. Don't you need some sort of key to start it? You know me, brother. I can turn anything on. <laughs> Obviously, uh, it's for reverse, not really fast. What's going on here? when a man and a woman really care about each other, they do a special cuddle for the cameras, which they sell for money. Lucy, I know what porn is. A special cuddle. A special cuddle. Well, there was a picture of our dead man standing next to a very distinctive decolletage. You identified a human by her boobs. Wow. That mole, those curves, they could only belong to the one and only Misty Canyon. Exactly. Misty Canyons. Wow, that is a drag name and a half, though. The church confessional has nothing compared to pillow talk. Oh my gosh, that's penis to Milo. Ah! Do all porn stars reside in LA? <laughs> Feels like it. <laughs> there must be hundreds of porn stars in hell. Sadly, no. On account of all the good work they do here on Earth, I assume. Sorry, it's a closed set. I'm here to talk to Mr. Canyons about pillow talk. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> what is that code for? 
Huge fan of yours. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. L.A. Horry. What a classic. Oh. L.A. Horry. Goodness me. Your parents must be so proud. I wish. Oh, so you're a rebel. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> and if you really want to rebel, move to L.A., right? Ah. But implanted. You must need a window washing. <laughs> well, good thing, because I was feeling dirty. Wow, this took a turn, didn't it? I haven't seen your necklace. What's made of pearls, by chance? It's actually a rod. Even better. Unbreakable. Very special. Mm -hmm. Time to see the family jewels. What? No, no! But he's in coveralls. You have to... No. Eight instead? Oh, apparently she has not had the television on. He lost a lot, but he never quit. Aiden actually thought he could win the fight he had coming up, though, which Ooh. is why he was so pissed when someone asked him to throw it. Oh. Did you notice any unusual behavior with Aiden lately? There was one guy he butted heads with, a promoter, Tio Sorrento. Sketchy guy, never paid his fighters. Tio and his tattooed buddy got into it with Aiden a couple weeks back. You know where I can find him? I could get used to this place. Spidey says, ooh. What's the plan? Uh, plan is to get a drink. Can't think when I'm sober. Oh, I thought the better answer would have been blend in. <laughs> Okay, Chloe, just announce it. <laughs> Who looks after the fights? Tio Sorrento. Everything goes through him. Oh, that's Tio. So who's Chloe chasing? Apparently you arranged the fight that a recently deceased Aiden Scott was going to wage. Let me guess, your fighter wants on the card tomorrow. <laughs> I fight <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes, now Amenadiel is quite the warrior. Undefeated in battle, one of God's finest. God's finest. Actually, that's true. <laughs> Where are you two from? Down Up south. north. I don't book strangers. <laughs> I'm afraid I must insist. What do you desire? <laughs> you just knocked out the former heavyweight champ with one punch. And took the punch he received like a champ. My man. <laughs> he looks so gleeful. In order to flush out our killer slash necklace thief, we need to get them to approach you the same way that he or she approached our dead fighter. It's quite simple, really. Especially when the person who shot at him the first time sees him again? Is that what's going to happen? We raised a few too many eyebrows with your one-punch knockouts, so no more displays of celestial strength. We... Strength, 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 strength. Strength is a funny word. Strength, strength, strength. Okay, Captain. Try to believe though the going gets rough that you got a hand. <laughs> Wait, was this song in one of the Rockies? I am ready to make some cash. That's all I really care about. Cold, hard cash. Wait, he's eating chicken wings. Where did he get the chicken wings? So he'd take a fall? Rumor has it that Aiden Scott was offered a hell of a deal, so we want the same. That someone is me. Oh, lovely. Tats here has multiple warrants out, and after a little squeeze, I found out that Tio fixes fights for the Sarkisians. 
As in the Sarkeesian crime family? To talk to Teal's lawyer, see if I can maneuver a deal. Not a good idea. Why? Because you don't have any actual proof yet, Chloe. Dan, I'm right. I can feel it. Proof. Oh, MG. Has he got your necklace? He claims to not know its whereabouts. I suppose it's time to torch. <laughs> You're up. Mm hmm. But just because I'm the king of hell doesn't mean I actually do the torturing. Oh, maze. I assumed this was going to happen. I popped back down while you're in there and brought up the vest. Remember Mazakin? Well, look at that outfit. Woohoo! I already told that other guy I don't know nothing about Aiden Scott. <laughs> that other guy wouldn't know a flanged mace. Wait, isn't that like a toilet plunger? <laughs> Well, that is creative. You don't have to do this. No. I get to do this. Wow. Oh. I'm on fire, aren't you? You are now. I thought hell was hot. Well, that human didn't kill anybody. Also a bit of a crier, it seems. I hope you didn't go too hard, Maze. He's not in hell yet. Those are tears of joy. Ah. Uh -huh. What did he use to inflict the pain? Nothing. Hmm. So Teal has no idea who this man is and no way of finding out. Your so-called torture has been useless. No, it confirms some things. You want to go, bird boy? Oh, now this is getting interesting. <laughs> She has popcorn. <laughs> Excuse me. No, 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 I'm good. Charlotte Richards. Hi, I'm here regarding your client to you. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. That was that time for law enforcement. And what is this haircut? And what makes you think that I need your help representing my client? He's also implicated in the murder of Aiden Scott. So if he agrees to speak with us, we'll go easier. Well, she's bluffing hard. Because none of what you said actually resembles proof of a crime. Why do you say that? Because when you're out there writing traffic tickets, I'm representing families like the Lings and the Sokolovs, actual killers. Oh, Allegedly. okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So I, I thought the Sarkisians and the Sokolovs were at war over their bookmaking operations. I wonder how they'd feel if they knew that their lawyer was double dipping. I don't know what the term is for what you're doing, but I think it's called leverage. Please have a seat, officer. So Charlotte walked into that? I didn't expect you to be so happy to lose your first fight ever, brother. But we both know this doesn't count. Not to mention the fact that no mere mortal could ever stand a chance against the full power of my God-given... I regret mentioning it. <laughs> Why is this tickling me so much? <laughs> Lucy, thanks for your help. This might actually work. Yes, of course it'll work, brother. That's why you asked me, remember? Someone crafty, smart. And evil. <laughs> evil? Well, if you want to find a deplorable criminal, you just ask if, well, you know what I mean. You are the devil, after all. Deal. I think this is when you get your ass handed to you in a way you weren't expecting. We have a scratch on the car. Please welcome a new fighter to the cage. In his slacks. Why are you doing this, Lucifer? Who better than the devil to help you do something so wickedly dishonest as to throw a fight? This is pointless. As. <laughs> I have to say it as they're shouting their intentions in front of everybody. So be it, brother. So be it. <laughs> oh, I guess you're not so tough after all, are you? Hey, daddy's boy. Them's fighting words. <laughs> Tell 
just as bad as me, brother. Bane. Pride is your sin. Pride. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're doing this really, really well. What am I doing? You see, I won't stoop down to your level because I am better than you are. Oh. Stop me! But he's supposed to take the fall, right? Hope you haven't spent too long on Earth. It seems to have softened you. Well, see, I just hope whoever stole my necklace won't take too long to pick up their winnings. The sooner I can grab him and retrieve it, the sooner I can be. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is still day one. Is that the coach? Gil, drop the bag. Ah! Oh! <laughs> you in the street mm -hmm. look I, I don't want any trouble i'll get you a new necklace no see i want mine i don't want any because my father gave it to me oh yeah he's shooting people so you planned to kill the other human no that was a mistake too <gasps> it was like a son to me he said he'd rather walk away from it than throw it went to try to scare him but aiden fought back i panicked i shot him that's when I saw you. I, I didn't know what you'd seen. I'm sorry. Where is my necklace? It's in the gym. Let's go drop him back at the beach. Just a moment. So you killed your so-called son for refusing to play a part in your plan. Now that is just pure evil. And I should know, because I am the king of evil. Mm -hmm. I killed Aiden Scott. I'm sorry. It's it's all my fault. I oh. I killed him. Sounds like a confession to me. Lucy, why are we back here? It's time for us to leave. Oh, that was Rico's. Oh, that was Rico's. That I've realized something here in this city of angels. That I really am no longer one anymore. And why am I still trying to please father? He abandoned me, so why shouldn't I abandon him? You are coming back to hell with me. There's no discussion. <sighs> okay. You see? You're not gonna pass on me! <laughs> we made a deal, didn't we? <gasps> For a favor to be named later. Mm -hmm. Later is now. No, I can't do that. Well, isn't it a sin for an angel to break a vow? <sighs> Father will be furious, and you will suffer his wrath. Well, then he knows where to find me. This place could use a piano. I just put my hand. Girl, God bless. Give me my friend. So I couldn't remember if she did it the first time or he did it the first time. Well, that's a big fuck you face, if you've ever seen one. It's a filler episode. Mm, yeah, backstory. This was all the backstory. Not all the backstory. A good chunk of the backstory about what actually prompted Lucifer to stay on Earth extended vacation. I didn't realize though Amenadil had so much to do with it, but he he's I think pushed him over the edge for certain and brought to light all the things Lucifer had been thinking subconsciously and just brought it right to his face. I want to say it was cute the way they wove everybody else in, how Chloe and Lucifer kind of cross paths, how Charlotte popped in. <laughs> Adorable. Good job. They worked hard on that. <laughs> Too bad we didn't get to see Dr. Linda, though. That would have been hilarious. 
So my thought going forward after watching this episode is if and when, how, having seen Lucifer really dealing and struggling with the thought that he is seen of as evil, a criminal, and trying to overcome that influences his actions going forward. And Aminadale, so prideful, so prideful. Hmm, hmm. He has come a long way, hasn't he? And almost, I almost really didn't need Chloe in this story, in this episode. I didn't think I needed her and Dan at all because that wasn't the driving force of what I think what they were trying to show us and tell us with Lucifer. I didn't need her at all. So if any of her bits of this episode come back up in the future, I'd be surprised. But I also find it interesting that they just did the bomb drop of Lieutenant Pierce's cane and then we stepped away from it completely. <laughs> what were they thinking? Ooh, what was that decision? I wanted to have been, I want to know what was happening in the room when they decided that programming choice. <laughs> there we go. Episode 11. Ta-da! Thanks so much for being with me on this adventure. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Leave a like, a something, you know, how YouTube likes interactions. So an interaction would be great. And until next time, please take care of yourselves. This is your reminder to go eat something, touch your toes, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.